we'd like to issue a trigger warning for this poem for offensive content. I'm Evangeline Mantler. I'm Joe Pei I'm Bianca Swift. I'm Amin Abdullahi. We're all seniors from Burke High School. <laughs> and this is and this is seven days. Every morning I sift through my scarves carefully, looking for one that doesn't scream terrorist. I tried flowers, animal prints, solids, the whole color spectrum. But no matter how plain or pretty it is, the ugly side always shows. Day, Day one. I took the fabric and laid out on a hard surface. Ugly, ugly side up. up. Do you wash your hair? Do you, you even have hair? I'd love not to have to do mine in the morning. And imagine, imagine the, the amount, amount of time saved. saved. No one wants to confront the ugly. Better to hide it behind the curtains of false smiles and facades of helpful hits. Day two. Maybe I'll take it from one end and fold it three four down. Fold it halfway down and you'll look dangerous. Angry, rabid, foaming at the mouth, ready to take out as many people as you can. And all the way down and you'll look extreme, intimidating, looking for any reason to pull out a weapon. And careful, don't fold it a quarter way down and you might look oppressed. And so the fabric of your job has suppressed their inner voice. We see your scarf and ignore the rest, but I digress. Oh honey, we are forced to wear at gunpoint. You have a bomb under there? Day three. I'll try to take it from one end and hold it behind my head. Not the front. Someone could mistake it for a burqa. Like the mistake the DMV made when they said, Miss, take it off. Day, Day four. four. Well, what if I take both ends and wind them together with a safety pin? Will that make us safe again? If it's too loose, the ugly side might show. Um, hello, I'm not she invisible. She should put it to her scalp. Excuse me? Didn't she say the no hat signs? It's not fair that she doesn't have to follow the rules. I mean, it's just for everyone's safety, right? She needs to take it off. Day five. I tucked the end of the fabric under the bun, hoping today's finally the day I get it right. Make sure to eliminate all folds of misunderstanding. If you want to be accepted. Then you just need to let it hang. Like a nun's habit. Or juice woman's shadle. Maybe an Amish bonnet. <laughs> Day six. At the airport. Quick, get down. At the DMV. She's got a blog. At school. <laughs> Enough. Which twist made me a terrorist? The same fold that made you voiceless. The same crease that made you dangerous. The same wrapping that made you oppressed. The truth is none of these versions will be seen as right. There's no way to eliminate stereotypes, xenophobia, fear. So why am I trying? Day, Day seven. seven. Realize these steps don't work. Realize your identity doesn't depend on others' opinion of you. Realize you don't have to hide yourself for the comfort of others. Realize that there's only one thing you can do. Day one. Wake up. Look at yourself in the mirror and put your scarf on. It doesn't matter if the ugly side shows. Why?